going. You find me on a summer's evening in a little village called Sneem. Now Sneem is a village in the southwest of Ireland on the Kerry. It's been bitten by a midge. It's a mosquito bite. On the ring of Kerry, we find Sneem. So I thought we could walk through the village, see what we see. We're exploring new frontiers. Must always push on, give our lives if need be. I've just eaten fish and chips. Fish and chips, national dish, mate. So you have to forgive me. I might have a little bit of fish and chips still clinging on to my teeth. Bruce, you, you want me to get you a toothpick? Well, I'm going to just show you this little town. I'm ready. It's a town with certainly a few Irish characters. Like an Irish monk? But the majority of the people that come through here are generally American tourists. We're just two ordinary American tourists looking at these sites. Taking in their Irish heritage, trying to rekindle their Irish heritage. It's amazing to think that 80 million people living around the world have some sort of Irish heritage. Seems there are Irish people everywhere, or people who want to be. Now, you might be wondering, why is the wandering Englishman in Ireland? No, I was just wondering. Well, it happens that this Englishman isn't entirely English. I think many people already know that. Oh, thank you for letting me know. I had no idea. This Englishman has a Irish mother. This Englishman has an Irish grandmother, or had an Irish grandmother, and a, an American Irish grandfather. I've got to the point of trying to understand where I've come from as well. Where are we from, Teddy? I'm at the stage where I'm able to explore a few more places. Other places, the future, the past. And one of those places is obviously Ireland. So over the last many days, I've been making my way around the coast of Ireland. As you've seen a few videos, but not many, I'll be honest. Not many because it's just a little bit difficult to make videos when you're on the road. Yes, on the road. And I just thought some moments were a little bit more precious and required me to be enjoying those moments truly rather than holding a camera and just sort of walking around with his camera. Now, Sneem means not. And the reason it means not for this beautiful restaurant, the Stone House, fish and chips, 12 euros, 95, good value. But apparently the best fish and chips as rich as I had over there. Fish and chip restaurant. Fish and chips. This is the kind of square on Sneem. The store, Peter O'Sullivan store. DJ O'Sullivan store, maybe they're competitors. Competitors. Probably there's a bit of a, a Sullivan mafia here. Mafia? I'm sure they're good, good chaps. D. O'Shea, Danny O'Shea maybe. Great all day food. Seven days license to serve food. Bit of a modern sculpture over here. All these little houses. You have to love the Irish for the fact that they keep very pretty little streets. And occasionally there's a bit of litter on the floor. They take pride in where they live, the Irish. They take pride in their gardens. It's amazing when you're driving through Ireland, you'll see little gardens tended to by little old ladies just out of sheer love. Crash. I guess the kindergarten to Americans. Kindergarten is the best. Kelly's Bakery. Teas, coffees, delicatessen. Galvin's expert hardware here. You need to fix some certain things. Yeah, we'll fix it. Wow, that'd be cool. I mean, this little town has yeah, everything, but it feels so quaint. Get some Wellington boots. And there's a church up here. Amen, praise the Lord. Tiny little church, but there's, there's a couple of churches in this town because it's obviously a town, a population, I think somewhere around 3,000. Breakfast diner, the village diner. And this is where we see that the place has been knotted. This is the Breen's Riverside Cafe. You see what's on the menu. It's closed at the moment. It's open during the day, so I'm told anyway. We get with chips, 11.95. Toasted chicken, onion, cheese, fat with chips, seven ninety five. Chowder and sandwich combo, eleven euros. But let's head over the river because Sneem means not, and the town is split like a knot. We have this river separating the two sides, 
And supposedly that's how it gets its name. So this knot, if you can imagine a bow, a bow tie, this knot is the middle bit. When I say knotted, you can see from the map that the town looks like a bow tied knot. You can see where Danny O'Shea's bar is there. Then we're walking southeast ac across a bridge and then it appears to be a, a knot again. Hence the reason I think the town gets the name Sneem. And look at this, a bit windy. And there's another, another church over there. And over there, you can see the cow. Oh wow, look at these guys. You see that? That's pretty cool. The cow and its calves. And another pub. I'm thirsty. Let's see if they'll stand as a drink. The thing about Irish towns is everywhere you go, there are Irish pubs everywhere. You don't say. And look, this is something over, this is something about you'll see in every Irish town. You see the Sneem GAA Lotto Jackpot, 9,250 euros if you compete for the Lotto Jackpot in this village. Every little town in Ireland will have a different jackpot, this being no exception. Did you know Aunt Maggie in 1983 won the lotto, but then lost the ticket? Folktales and backward gossip. And look, even supporting my favorite country here, we got the Ukrainian flag. At the news agent, I got a strange look from the uh, the Irishman over there. <laughs> he's like, what? he's like, well, look at me. Why are you looking at me? The greenhouse. I think it sells books. I think it's a charity shop. It's a charity shop. Of course, it's a charity shop. And the Riley's bar, the window box, Murphy's bar. If you want a pint, this place is not too short of a beer, pubs. And then here we see, you can see how the bow tie shapes out again. The last square was a triangle, and this square is a triangle. So it's like, shaped like a bow tie from above. And the hickey music place for Irish gifts. Murphy's Bar looks the busiest place. And then here we have another church on this side. It really is quite a beautiful little village town I should say and over here you fancy some traditional knitwear this really is catering for the tourists you've got coffees the sort of get your postcard Irish souvenirs a couple of statues commemorating maybe individuals that live around here yeah this is a beautiful little village I live just up here I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight into one of the many many small towns and villages that make up Ireland and I think, I'll keep the video very brief. I think I'll end it surrounded by all these little birds as they tweet into the evening sky. And just to show you the different types of houses, we have the orange house, the green house, the green chair restaurant, the blue ball restaurant. It really is quite beautiful. As the sun is now going down, I might go have a pint in Murphy's bar. But anyway, that was my brief intro into the town of Sneem. If you like this content, maybe I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.